Welcome back to Missile Industries 2004 ZX-10R Project Episode 2. Now, the tank is still not ready to be reinstalled, but today I'm going to steal some parts off this bike and rummage through my other parts box to see if I can put some stock Pedal assembly pieces onto the spike because those aftermarket ones they won't get a roadworthy. This assembly here is what you call an aftermarket rear set assembly, and they do look pretty decent. And I will definitely repurpose these to go onto my track bike. You can see it's rubbing against the frame there because they come back so far. The reason I can't use these is because there's generally no accommodation for the rear brake light in aftermarket rear sets, whereas the factory rear sets, they have a brake light switch accommodation that looks shot. That means your bike will get a roadworthy because your rear brake light will work when you put your rear brakes on, rather than just run off the front brakes. Now years ago, before I actually had a first gen ZX-10R a guy was on the forum I always belonged to a Kawasaki forum and he had a whole box of bits and pieces for a bike that he no longer had because it got written off with insurance so he put all the stuff he had left over into a box which was a rear pillion seat factory fender factory indicator lenses not sure what that is that'll definitely come in handy so I think he did a conversion on his bike so he swapped all his tinted orange lenses for clear lenses but he also put reset rear sets onto his bike so these factory rear sets have been sitting in this box years now waiting for me to have to find a use for them and guess what today is that day progress so far i've got one factory rear set installed i've put one of my spare reservoirs on there because that one there was manky as so that's my spare one out of one of my parts bins i've put the tokiko caliper off my old gen 2 zx10 they ended up with ZX6R brakes on because they were gold and I preferred them. So I think I'm going to go for a full set of black Tokiko calipers on this because I've got a complete set of them, front and rear. Because for some reason this one's got the earlier ones on the front and the later ones on the back. That one there has been painted. That might actually be gold under all of that, but there's no way I'm stripping that down to find out. And the next thing I need to take note of... I've got the right side rider's foot peg and the right side passenger's foot peg but I've been trying to find a way of making this passenger side foot peg and this is the passenger foot peg that I'm modifying to go into the gap which meant I had to drill a much bigger hole in here and then I happened to notice that the passenger foot peg up here is actually supposed to be down here in this and I can just adapt one I haven't ruined into this one here and this one here will fit straight into here like the factory because this one here is supposed to be here and whoever got this bike before me was trying to make this work much the way I'm trying to get this passenger pillion peg to fit in the rider's peg gap. So that's a surprising turnaround that will give me a solution. It means these rear sets will be completely finished and I won't have to steal a thing off my other bike. And I'll have these hectic aftermarket rear sets as extra as I can use on my race bike or sell on eBay. Oh yeah. Happy with that. Factory foot pegs for the win. Oh boy. I've got a silver hero knob. Now should I go black hero knob, black 
pig. Silver hero knob, silver pig. Should I just mix it up because obviously none of the pegs match anyway. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Sure, I saw a rear brake light spring there. Oh, there we go. So none of these brake light switch springs are long enough or are short enough. So I robbed the one off my track bike. Ta-da! That will totally fit. This front brake reservoir has seen better days. It looks like it's been sitting in the sun for a decade, but pretty sure I've got one left over. I do. Boom. And then I'll go straight in there. Should I use the lens that's been rolling around in the parts bin for the last decade? Or should I use the lens that's been wrapped in bubble wrap for the last decade? I'll use this one. So I've swapped my brake calipers from the gold ones to the black ones. And just as well too, when I pulled this caliper off, I noticed that the uh, retaining pin wasn't through two of the pads and these pads just fell out when the caliper came out. So that's yet another fail for whoever had this bike before I got it. Good replacement reservoir installed. Much better. I should probably bleed the brakes now. I don't want to sacrifice my U-Butte racing brake fluid for this project or poverty fluid. Yeah, that's almost empty. <sighs> racing fluid it is. And job done. Okay, time to wrap up episode two of Missile Industries ZX10R project train wreck. I have replaced all the foot controls. I've got all the foot pegs swapped to roadworthy OEM versions, including the pillion pegs. I have swapped all the brakes over, bled the brakes. So now I've got matching black Tokiko calipers front and rear. And I have put the indicator in that lens there and I've turned the bike on to see if the indicators actually work and I've discovered I've got an integrated, integrated eBay tail light. While that's nice, it's still not roadworthy because the tail lights need to be a certain distance apart for uh, Australian road rules. So that'll be coming out and I'll probably steal the one out of that bike there which doesn't need it which is just a factory one and get myself some proper indicators to go into to go into this because it'll also need that for the roadworthy. Really. One last thing before I wrap this video up, Let's see if the brake, oh yeah, brake light works from the foot brake. That's excellent. Does it work with the front? It does too. Tremendous.